going to be looking at color correction in After Effects. So, um, I just want to get off by showing you this is the clip that we're going to be using. Come on. I can just stop lagging. Gotta trim this clip a bit. Hold on. Spit in, comma. There, ends about there, okay. Hmm. Okay, guys, so basically, I'm going to be showing you how to do some color correction. So, yeah, just basically to make things look a lot cooler. Alright, so let's look at our original footage, which looks pretty plain and bland. You know, I could use some touching up. So let's go and bring this into its own composition. So let's take a look. Basically, some horses running in. Let's see if I can, see if I can get a ramp preview without too much lag. Uh, I should have used Premiere. Probably would have created the. Um, preview a lot faster so yeah um, I hope it's picking up my audio okay so okay so the fuck is volume whatever so yeah that's one without effects now that we're gonna be applying s just a few effects just two that should touch up the video so that First, we're going to use curves, and we're going to use levels. These two things are very com uh, commonly used. Um, so let's go bring in our, go into our color correction, and bring in curves. And bring in our levels there we go okay so um, depending on the order I guess it could pretty much change the effect um, let's see what happens when we do this whoa changes a bit it's not necessarily better I mean it could be if it uh, it all depends on the look you're going for so basically what I want to teach you guys today is that in a uh, Whenever you guys do color correction, there's going to be a certain look you're going to go for. And this may become your trademark look, depending on how much you use it and how well you use it and whatnot. Okay? So, um, let's go over here. Um, fuck. Wildlife 2. Bring it in. So, with the RB, let's focus mainly on curves right now. So, curves. Right now, we're seeing a straight line. If we can go to red, green, blue, and alpha, then we have RGB. RGB is a main control, so this is basically where you're going to be adding your contrast curve. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Usually a good S curve is good. Yeah, that's a bit too much, but usually make a nice S curve, get some nice contrast in. What I did for this one was I brought this one down a bit and I brought this one up. Usually um, what people will do is make an, what we call an S curve to for um, uh, uh, for um, adding contrast. So, you know, just toy with the settings so you find something you like. And uh, so then what we can do is we can go into reds, bring this down a bit. Then we can go into our greens, bring this up a bit. And then our blues also add some more to that. There we go, we've got a nice more of an ocean kind of feel. And then uh, you can play around with the alpha if you want. Not really going to do much, mostly because we don't really have other stuff to composite them with, but yeah, I don't really touch the alpha, so yeah. Uh, so. 
it uh, brings it a little bit darker, I guess, but I don't really need to focus on that because that's what we're going to be using levels for. So um, I'm just going to copy in my other settings because I'm not pro enough to duplicate it. So um, basically, you know, I've got this going on and my red toned down, green a little bit from the bottom toned up because depending on where you have this going, it will change what kind of effect you will get. So yeah blue increase this a bit again does change depending on where you bring it and how you use it so yeah all right so now we're going to go into our levels um yeah so uh i'm just gonna okay so your input black changes how much um basically and change the darkness you increase it the darker you get and you decrease it the later it's going to get so I for this clip I brought in a 30 for my darkness and my input white if you bring it down it makes it brighter and if you bring it up it makes it darker darker yeah. losing my fucking grammar and shit um what did I use for this one 30 201 oh, well, five. come on So input gamma, if you increase it, you're going to get more white. Decrease, you're going to get more black. 0.15. Output black. So yeah, you can, the output black, the output white. So um, let me just quickly yet again check my settings for this one. Bring in negative fifty two thirty. So now we've got some, I guess, good color correction going. I especially like this one because it looks a lot more high definition to me than this. And for that part of the clip, I might choose that version over this. Uh, just depending on the mood I'm in and depending on what kind of color I'm going to go for. Um, so yeah. Just a quick RAM preview before I get started into the next bit. So we've got a nice clip going. So yeah, now then, I'm gonna, I guess, stop this video and then go straight into the next one, which will be working with Magic Bullet Looks. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.